I'm Sergio Conti, I'm an assistant clinical professor at University of Iowa Healthcare. Uh, cardiac ablation is also called catheter ablation, it's a minimally invasive procedure that uh, fixes uh, the heart rhythm problems. So the catheter ablation uh, corrects the arrhythmia, making, creating some lesion inside the heart. We use some uh, spaghetti-like uh, wires that are called uh, catheters uh, to go from uh, the groin, usually from the vessel of the groin, up to the heart in order to stress the heart and see how it reacts to our uh, protocols. Uh, once we figure it out what, what's the problem, we insert another catheter with, which is actually able to destroy the tissue and you know, cure the arrhythmia. Cardiac ablation uh, can vary in duration, so it can be a very short procedure lasting less than one hour, it can be much longer up to three, four or five hours. So we have different layer of sedation, we start with a moderate sedation where we basically give some relaxing medication, then we have a deep sedation uh, where it's actually not as easy to awake the patient just touching or talking to him. And then we have, of course, general anesthesia where the patient is completely asleep. The recovery is pretty short, so after four to six hours lying flat on the bed, uh, the patient can you know, stand up and uh, walk alone. Uh, if he has a moderate lifestyle, he can you know, go back to work after two, three days. If he has a more physical active um, lifestyle, we may ask the patient to wait five to seven days. At University of Iowa Healthcare, there is a, a great team of cardiac electrophysiologists that will take care of your heart rhythm problems.